uh, in my previous video I uh, said that I will obviously show you the the working of the slave and the master together now I will purposefully turn on the slave first because the slave uh, will give the start condition LED that is this one the start condition LED the start master the start condition LED will, will lit up system run will be on and the power will be on so for that let me just switch on the slave module so what happens first when you switch on the slave module is uh, your system will do a POST that is power on self test where it will check all the relays if it is fine or not and you can use your own lamp or multimeter to see the connectivity now you can see that uh, you know the second LED here it is getting blurred the second LED is blinking, right? The second LED is blinking, which which is the is the system run OK LED. Fine. So now what I will do, I will I will power on the master as well. So when I will power on the master, what will happen is your uh, your your information that will be coming from the from the master to the slave is a switch on information. So that's the start condition. So this start LED that is over here the transmission and start master this LED should blink up so here I am switching on the the slave the master device and here you can see the master is getting switched on right and here you have the start LED go up that is this one this one the start LED is up that is this LED the start LED up means that the device is now in uh, it's basically conveying at a remote location that your master has either gone a watchdog restart or it has undergone some kind of start condition or restart condition so your device is in start state now basically what should happen is we should be receiving first your uh, let me tell you first what will happen is your modem will be registering uh, the network right so the registration of the network will happen once uh, all the three LEDs, the two LEDs blink, the one is power, the other is the status and the third is the network. So it's blinking that means that it has got registered on the network. Now let me show you what message I have received. So basically this is the message that has been received. Uh, from the device right it says please send the set point to the device ssp0002 set mm this is the format that is set space the mm is the two digit set point so what i will do i will just simply give a set point saying set uh, don't worry about the case it's not case sensitive set space and i will give it as say 76 and i will send it back so here I have sent a reply I have sent a reply uh, saying set 76 now the device should respond to me with a reply that uh, a message uh, with a message that it has been done successfully so till then we have to wait yeah the message comes so we can see the set point to the device with two number SP00002 has been successfully set to 76% now it's a very important thing don't miss out the format set space then your value two digit value it doesn't support a float value so don't provide a decimal value so this is the basic uh, you know configuration that we need to do with the mobile sms um, for this particular device so that's only thing that you need to do initially so now your device is measuring the uh, the sensor value now let me uh, tell you one thing that is if you have a good look I'll show you if you have a look you know all the sensors all the sensors they are connected between the sensor pin and the 5 volt pin so connecting to the 5 volt pin means that your this is basically uh, dependent on a reverse sensor logic that is when your sensor output voltage is 5 it means that the measured parameter is low so here two of such uh, sensors are connected to 5 volt as you can see this uh, white one and the green one which is showing 
that these two sensors are measuring the lowest conditions whereas the rest two sensors that is the red one and the blue one they are connected to ground right so connected to ground means